Hey everybody, coming at y'all tonight. We're going to make a simple recipe. Um, I would have never thought of even putting this on my YouTube, but the other day my daughter came down here and said, Mom, how do you make pinto beans? All these years, I would have thought of me making pinto beans. That child would have known how to make pinto beans, but no, she did not. So I laughed at her about it because I thought, why does she not know how to make pinto beans? But I remember a time when I was married and didn't know how to make pinto beans. It's definitely a Southern dish. Um, I don't hear of a whole lot of people from up North. I could be wrong, but I haven't heard of a whole lot of people from up North. At least I, we never ate them up North. Never, never, never. Nobody in my family ever fixed pinto beans. But when I married a Southern boy, when we moved down South, I had to learn how to make pinto beans. So I wanted to come to y'all with a tutorial of how to do it because there may be some of y'all that just don't know how to do it. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get you a large crock pot. You're gonna buy a bag of pinto beans. These are the kind I have, and they are two pounds, 32 ounces. That's the size you're gonna to wanna to get. The next step is you're gonna to wanna to pour your pinto beans into a colander. You're gonna to wanna to put them under warm water, rinse them off really good. Now, when you look at your pinto beans, you want to kind of go through them, make sure that there's no like black ones or anything weird. Cause y'all know, y'all know things sometimes, I think once before I may have found a rock in one, if I remember right, something I found a rock in. But anyways, just check them real good. And then once they're rinsed real good, and I've already rinsed these off, you're just gonna dump them over into your crock pot and get all of them out. Take your hand and get all of them out. They tend to stick to the side of that strainer. All righty, once you do that, kind of spread it out at the bottom. You're gonna need some Crisco all vegetable. And you're gonna put two big old large spoons. Now this ain't like a spoon you eat out of. This is like a serving spoon. You're gonna put two of those, about like that. You're gonna tap it over in there. You're gonna do about two of those. I ain't gonna be exactly the same, but close enough. Get all that goodness off there. Okay. Let me get my salt, cause I don't forgot my salt. Um, you can get crock pot liners, so y'all know. Um, and line your crock pot before you start this. They make crock pot liners. I thought I had some in here and I didn't. Easy peasy. Once you're taking everything out of the crock pot, you don't have to wash the crock pot. You just pull that out and throw in the garbage. So, thought I had some, but I did not. But anyways, you're gonna take your salt. You're just gonna go across the top of it real good with your salt. Just like this. Put a pretty good bit in there. All right. And these are the best salt and pepper shakers. Tupperware makes them. You can get them on Amazon. They are amazing. I love them. Just a little heads up so y'all know. All right, next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna add water. You're going to fill the crock pot, pod, crock pot until it's late. I'm tired. Tomorrow's my Thanksgiving dinner and I'm already crazy. You're going to fill your crock pot all the way to the top with water. I want to get just a little bit more. Now, I always put my pinto beans on the night before. Like it is 1130 right now. I could have put them on at night. It don't matter what time. But as soon as you wake up in the morning or you may want to set an alarm for so far over into the night because as they cook, the water is going to absorb. The pinto beans are going to swell. And you may have to add a little bit more water to them. If you see the top of the beans are sticking out and not under the water, you're going to want to add just a little bit more water. But you're going to just add it all the way to the top. All right. Then you're going to put your lid on. Close it up tight. You're gonna put your crock pot on high. You're gonna plug it in and you're gonna let it cook overnight. Like I said, check it first thing in the morning. Make sure that, I don't think this is the right lid for my crock pot. Might be. I got two of them, I gotta make sure this is the right lid. But anyways, make sure that the um, water isn't below the pinto beans. Now, once you add some water, you, you're probably gonna wanna cook these Probably anywhere from, let's see. Mine are gonna cook up until my Thanksgiving time, which is at one o'clock tomorrow. 
But what I'm gonna do is in the morning when I see they're cooked, when you take, you're gonna wanna get up and stir them too at some point. You're gonna wanna set a timer. Um, I would say probably about four hours in, you're gonna wanna stir them, check the water level. Um, and then every now and again, stir them again. But what I do with mine and what makes them the best, now you can eat them straight up in about six hours of the crock pot time. But what I like to do is at about six hours, I like to get mine on early enough that at about six hours, I turn the crock pot off, let them cool down completely. And then I put them back on like low or warm. And that's what thickens up your juice. They taste so much better if you do that. You let your juice thicken up. That being said, if you didn't do that and you were like forgot to take time to do that, I've served them where the, they were just a little bit more it's a little runnier, but if you have leftover pinto beans and you put them in the fridge, y'all, they taste better the second day. I don't know why. They're really thick. I mean, it, they are so good. So, anyways, once you get these cooked, um, you may want to add just a little bit more salt at that time, taste them, see how they taste. But that's all there is. That's it. It's a very simple, easy peasy, walk away and leave it recipe. So, that's how you make southern pinto beans. And I hope y'all can try them out. Hope you enjoy them and love them like I do. And they're full of protein and they're good for you. So they're good food to eat and they taste amazing. Let me tell you how they taste too. Now the Thanksgiving, we're just serving them plain up. You can put them in a bowl, put you up a little bit of cornbread in there, some hot sauce, mm, delicious. I like to put mine in a bowl, put a little bit of white crackers in there, saltines, hot sauce, delicious. I like them plain. There's so many different things you can do with pinto beans. So. Great recipe for y'all. Um, Summer, my daughter, now you got the recipe for sure down pat on the video. You'll know how to make them, babe. Love y'all. Have a blessed day. Please like and subscribe. Bye-bye.